Good day, RPMs. For today's video, uh, we are discussing the main groups of the fingerprint pattern. There are three main groups of fingerprint pattern. What are these family or groups of a fingerprint pattern? We have first the arch pattern and we also have that loop pattern. And then the third one is the world pattern. So most of the people bears a loop pattern. In fact, 60% of the people is having a fingerprint of a loop pattern followed by world pattern which is comprised of 35% and 5% for arch or arches. Among these three families, there are meron po tayong ano, eight basic type of fingerprint pattern coming from the three family of the fingerprint. We have from the loop pattern, meron po tayong yung tinatawag natin na ulnar and regal loop. Ah, ito. And under the arch pattern, mayroon tayong plain arch and we have also the tinted arch. And world pattern comprises of four patterns, specific patterns. We have the plain world, central packet loop world, double loop, and accidental world. Uh, yun sila yung eight basic type of fingerprint pattern. Okay, let's proceed. So, these are the prints of an arch patterns, the plain and tinted arch, the loops, the regal and ulnar loop, and the world patterns. Uh, we have the plain world, central pocket loop world, double loop, ito. And we have that accidental world. So what is loop? Hmm. By definition, when you say loop, it is a pattern which one or more bridges start at one of the lower corner of the pattern and it runs toward the upper corner on the opposite side and then recurve or turns back from where it started. Forming a loop with a core at the center, the delta that can be found within the pattern area. So before na mag sasabi tayo that it is a loop, mayroon po siyang tinatawag natin na requirement or requisites of a loop. Kailan natin masasabi that it is a loop? Una, it must have a core. Dapat may core. The inner terminus. And must have a delta. The outer terminus. And in fact, we already discussed this one in determining the core and delta. And must have a recurving ridge that passes between the core and delta. And then the last one, it must have a ridge count of at least one when you draw an imaginary line between the core and delta. And there are two kinds of loop. As I said a while ago, we have this regal loop and ulnar loop. What is a regal loop? It is regal when the open end of the looping ridge or ridges or the loop ridges points into the direction of the time side or a radius bow of either the left and right hand. Kung yung open side daw niya ng looping ridges is papunta doon sa thumb side ng iyong either right or left hand. 
Moreover, pag sinasabi naman nating ulnar loop, it is ulnar when the open end of the looping ridges is papunta naman doon sa little finger or ulna bone of either right or left hand. Yon. So to discuss further, ito. Ito po yung loop patterns natin. To shorten the definition of a loop, type of pattern which one or more ridge or ridges enter upon either side, recurve, touches, or pass an imaginary line between delta and or and pass out or tend to pass out upon the same side of the ridge entered. Meaning it recurves back from where it is started. So this pattern here are examples of a pattern of a loop. Kung titignan natin, ito yung mga open end. Yan, dito. Kung saan pa tungo. As I said, there is a qualification para masasabi natin that it is a loop. Okay? Aba? Okay, let's proceed. Okay, yan. Okay. This is an ulnar loop. Pero, bago natin malalaman that it is an ulnar loop, of course, we first determine to which hand it emanates. Saan nang galing? Left hand ba yan? Or right hand ba yan? That is if it is a standard specimen. Kung question specimen naman, of course, hindi natin alam. So in this context, let's assume that it is a standard specimen. So, we will determine now, alam natin kung saan kamay ito nang galing. Is it from the right hand or a left hand? In this illustration, it is very clear since it is ulnar loop, it is coming from the right hand. Kasi kung titingnan natin, yan. Yung open end niya is nandito. When you place your hand on the illustration, kung titingnan mo, place your hand, please, on the illustration, makikita mo na yung open end niya is towards or going into the direction of your little finger. Place your right hand kasi it is coming from a right hand. So since it is going into the direction or towards the little finger as the definition itself of the ulnar loop, it is ulnar loop pattern. Pero sabi ko kanina, bago natin malalaman that it is an ulnar and it is a loop, we must first determine the core. Ito yung core and ito po yung delta. So, nasuffice na yung dalawang requirement ni Loop. It must have a core, it must have a delta, it must have a recurving ridge. Mayroon bang recurving ridge? Yes. It is very evident na mayroon po tayong tinatawag na recurving ridge. This one, marami ito. Hmm. Most of this, what is inside in the pattern area, are recurving ridges. We draw an imaginary line between the core and delta. Ito. Uh, kung titingnan natin. Yan. That is an imaginary line. Mayroon bang nagtatouch na ridge or ridges on the imaginary line when drawn between the core and then the delta? Yes. These are the uh, ridges. Ito po. Ito sila. Ito. Ito. This one. All of these touches the imaginary line. Yan. Diyan tayo nagkakaroon ng ridge count. Kaya mayroon siyang ridge count. So, in this illustration, it is very clear that it is a loop pattern coming from the right hand and it is an ulnar loop since the open end is towards the little finger. 
place your right hand kasi coming from the right hand. Okay. Let's proceed. On the next illustration, dito po, sa pangalawang illustration natin, is a regal look. Still, it is coming from the right hand. Mm. Kung titingnan mo, kung titingnan natin, ito po. The open end is at the place of the, yan, dito. When you put your hand on the illustration, yung open end is towards to your thumb or in your reduced bone. Kaya nga, again, a definition of a rigid loop, if the open end of the loop ridges or the looping ridges is into the direction or towards the ano, uh, reduced bone or Thumb, that is regal loop. Of course, kwa qualify ba ito as a loop? Kung mayroong una, we have that pore, we have that delta, oh, ito po, delta, and we have this, uh, ito po, ito, yan, recurving ridges, and when we draw the imaginary line between the pore and delta, Yan. Mayroong nagtatouch na mga ridges on the imaginary line. Which will be considered as yan, ridge count natin. That may qualify into loop. Madali lang. Tingnan natin. Madali lang natin tingnan kung ridge ba yan or, or ulnar. Rather. Kasi we will be determining the open end of the looping ridges. If it is going to your thumb or going to your little finger. Pag thumb, regal. Pag little finger is ulnar. If it is coming from the right hand, put your uh, hand on the illustration. Right hand. Pag nanggagaling naman sa left hand, of course, left hand naman yung gagamitin mo para ma-determine mo whether it is ulnar or regal loop. Okay? Let's proceed. Ito po. Yan. So, this is a right regal loop. Yan. Right ulnar, right regal, left ulnar, and left regal. So, this is the print. Ito yung mga print. This is a loop pattern kung titingnan natin. Ito. Uh, ito po. Loop pattern po ito. Ito. These are loop patterns. So ito yung kanyang symbol. Slash. Yan. Ito. Yan. Symbol of a loop pattern. This one is a right regal loop. Kasi when you place the ano uh, your uh, your hand rather right the open end kung titingnan mo yung open end is towards your thumb. So sign must be aligned. Naka-align kung saan yung open end. Since naka-align siya towards the uh, thumb, this is regal loop. Kaya ito yung kanyang sign. Right regal. On the next illustration, o oh number two, ito. Oh, ito. Mm. When you place your right hand, the open end is towards the little finger. So, i-align mo lang yung slash sa open end. Which is the symbol of the symbol of the ulnar On the other hand, itong sa left hand naman, when you place your left hand on the illustration number three, ito, the open end, ito, is towards the thumb. 
So, yung sign mo dito, yung slash mo, isasabay mo, that is regal loop on the left hand. Particularly your, your left finger. Moreover, sa left finger mo naman, dito, sa illustration number 4, kung titingnan natin, yan. Yung open end, when you place your hand, left hand, this is, this is coming from the left hand, yung open end niya, ito, is towards patungo doon sa little finger. Ano yung sign mo? Yan. Uh, the slash must be aligned with the open end. That is how to determine the ulnar and regal look of the look patterns of either left or right hand. Nagkaintindihan ba tayo? Okay. That ends our topic for today. Thank you. Once again, good day.